My name is Kees Feldhuizen and we are here in the nursery of D in vitro labs in Sogakoppe in the Volta region in Ghana. D in vitro labs is a laboratory company specialized in tissue culture propagation of planting material. The company was established in 2005 in a project of the World Bank to produce pineapple young plants for farmers in Ghana. After this project was finished, the company changed ownership and became part of the Eribof group in the Netherlands. Tissue culture is a technology in the laboratory to propagate plants under sterile conditions. And the advantage of it that in the beginning of the process the plants can be cured for the disease and be propagated as a disease-free plant. So we started a project with ComCashew uh, and GIZ to uh, bring cashew to the Volta region. During the project we are able to do initiation of cashew and also the, the propagation at a very limited scale and, and other challenges like rooting and hardening of plants are still on the table to be addressed. So our main production at the moment for bringing cashew seedlings to the farmers is through grafting. And grafting is a technology by using a rootstock which is grown from a seed and then using uh, a scion which is a shoot from a variety of cashew and they are joined together. That is the grafting process. So then the plant you have is in the basis, it is, it is grown from a rootstock, but the canopy, the, the tree itself is a true variety. So we have established a scion bank with 12 different varieties where we can have access to good scions for the grafting program. Also, we have set up a demonstration farm where we demonstrate uh, spacing uh, of cashew in the farm, uh, intercropping, uh, canopy restitution, and also to evaluate the different varieties to find the best one for this region. So we identified and listed over 400 farmers uh, which are in potential interested in cashew farming and we trained them on, on the basics of cashew farmer. Out of them, we have supplied almost 100,000 cashew seedlings. Some of them are still on the ground here around me, but the farmers who are buying uh, the cashew seedlings from us have received training on, on preparing their farm, on the lining and pegging, on the planting, and on the initial stage of building a good tree by, by pruning um, in order to get a good shape of the tree in the farm. It's good to have a private-owned scion bank because uh, to have your own scion bank is very reliable. You can go there and harvest your, 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 your scion at any time, and then you can have a good uh, control over it. And then it's also closer to your nursery where you can uh, come and pick at an at a, at a appropriate time. Cashew tree need a lot of maintenance. So if you put cashew tree there without going to weed inside, uh, it will not perform well. So we have to do intercropping like granite, maize, pepper, and others. Even I train them about the fire brick because here is a bushy area. So the time that you can plow inside your cashew or spray so that the fire cannot catch your plantation. We teach the farmers that if they have the old tricks, it's not be cutting it, that's all. If you cut it, they will spread again and you have to graft it and they, they will do well. As we are doing, we are telling them you should plant the grafted materials. So you can see this is the uh, non-grafted one. It's a grown tree and they cut it and the straw is like this. And this one is a grown tree and they cut it, but they grafted it. And this is the difference between the grafted and the non-grafted one. <laughs> For two years ago, 
came into contact with uh, Yazin through the company Evil Ghana. They were so helpful to us. They gave us some seedlings, cashew seedlings. And chairman of uh, the Cashew uh, Farmers Association, which have over 400 members, we appreciated their help and they have been, uh, they, they, they introduced us to so many crops, including turamic, which uh, we plant, some of us planted last year, and the yield was so good. So we are just getting ready to plant more. So in my plan, I have to sit down, what can I do with this bis uh, cashew business? So my first, first focus is, in my village, there is no school here. So what I can do first is to, to set up a school. So some are here, they have to walk from here to Avedo, about two and a half kilometers wide. So if they come to the house, they cannot even read because they are tired. And the young people there, the young children there, they can't move until they are old like this before they can go to school. So that's, that makes me to set up this school so that I can help them study in an early state of their life.